The U.S. petrodollar reserve currency status has been a disaster for middle-class Americans much to their ignorance. It has allowed the financial political cabal elite to enrich themselves at the expense of deficit and debt expansion while impoverishing the middle class and bringing in replacement labor serfs. Time to rip this band aid off and the American middle class to reclaim their country, that will probably ultimately lead to revolution. We Americans have been printing paper and buying resources with it. Petrodollarism? Is that a thing? If not, it should be, and it could be defined as a U.S. entitlement, earned by impeccable virtue and moral authority, to not only run out of other people's money but run out of everybody's money. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. You are here for your daily dose of the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Please take a second to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to also hit the notification bell. Thank you. If the dollar loses its status as a world reserve currency, which is the pillar that underpins American supremacy, then the military pillar, which is the other pillar of American supremacy, will fall away as well. That supremacy is also reliant on the ordinary man and woman in the street continuing to buy in US dollars. It's American consumers who have unwittingly sowed the seeds for this conspiracy. Americans are among the biggest spenders and the worst savers in the world. Buy now, pay later seems to be their motto. U.S. national debt is now $29 trillion. And the entire debt of the whole country is an incredible $150 trillion. More than 189 million Americans have credit cards. The average credit card holder has at least four cards. On average, each household with a credit card carries $8,398 in credit card debt. Total U.S. consumer debt is at $13.86 trillion. That includes mortgages, auto loans, credit cards, and student loans. The average American now spends a record amount of their money just paying off the interest on all their loans. So if the petrodollar collapses and interest rates rise, the bubble will burst. And then the stage is set for national bankruptcy. If that happened, that would really be catastrophic for the dollar. It would be bad enough just to have a switch into the euro little by little. But if there was any big switch of these trillions of dollars accumulated in the U.S. investment, it would really be catastrophic for the U.S. economy. We may be set back more or less permanently. When you have that many dollars unleashed, you would have massive devaluation, massive inflation. The entire world economic order will be changed. And the United States would really be in a world of hurt. Teetering on the knife edge of a financial meltdown, the U.S. has always needed to keep a firm hand on the trading of its oil dollars. But in November 2000, the most serious attack on the sacred dollar was about to take place. If left unchecked, it could have been an economic Pearl Harbor. After years of struggling under crippling sanctions, Saddam Hussein decided to use the one WMD that no one had ever looked for or even thought about, the euro. There was a guy once named Saddam Hussein who said, the United States bombing me and Britain too so I'm going to sell my oil in euros. Came out said then the fall of 2000. It's a big secret here in the United States. With the mighty dollar's position as the world number one suddenly under threat. A ripple of fear goes through the Bush administration. From 2001 to the very beginning of the war, Iraq exported about 3.3 billion barrels of oil. We bought two and a half billion. We bought two thirds of this but in euros. The Federal Reserve cannot print euros, so we had to sell dollars to Europe to get the euros or whatever we sell of goods and services in order to get the euros. The petrodollar recycling system begins to break down. According to this theory, Saddam Hussein signed his own death warrant. President Bush had no choice if he wanted to save his country. He quickly placed Iraq on his list of the axis of evil nations. And with invasion plans already in place, the inevitable soon happened. I think the decision by Saddam was the last straw. And this is what you need to look at the whole aspect of Middle Eastern oil. The economies of Europe, the economies of the United States, and the economy of Britain were threatened by Saddam Hussein's decision. With the Iraqi oil industry firmly under US control, there was just one final task left to do to complete the conspiracy and save the dollar. The other big secret is the first thing the Bush administration did when they took over Iraq in May of 2003 was to immediately change Iraq's oil transactions from the euro back to the dollar. Even though from an economic perspective, it was in Iraq's favor. Because the euro was worth about 17% more than the dollar. 
so he basically wiped out 17% of their entire profits by going back to the dollar. While all this was happening, the American public was given very little information about how important oil and the petrol dollars were to the US. The Saudis are smart enough to know how this game works. The deep state refers to Saudi Arabia as Wonderland, and people who are awake to the truth know why. Saudi Arabia is part of the deep state apparatus. Saudi Arabia, and in particular the House of Saud, isn't going to drop the petrodollar and risk a deep state-sponsored uprising in the kingdom. Saudis or other Middle East oil producers have no say. They are terrified to do anything that offends US interests and end up like Saddam Hussein. These families know what would happen to them if they get out of line. And of course, they enjoy a luxurious life without doing any work. Protection by US, UK, and migrant workers doing the work. The US knows that if the Saudis stopped pegging the dollar to the rial and in turn dollars for the oil, Overnight the US dollar and dollar denominated assets and debt will go down the drain. Because no one will need to buy dollars to buy oil when they can use another currency or their own. The US will not allow this to happen. They will start to dismantle the Saudi kingdom by pulling the terrorism card, which fits them because they do support terrorists as long as they export it outside the kingdom. Their only way around this is to get into the sphere of Russia and have them put bases and support in their country. But Russia has oil too, and maybe won't do that unless Saudis cut production to a certain limit so their oil will be worth just as much and or not sell to certain places like a cartel so Russia producers can make money. The Saudis budget deficit is tied directly to its having pegged the rial to the US dollar, which leaves them at the mercy of the dollar price of oil. That isn't in Saudis interest. It's in the globalist banking empire interest, the same with Yemen. The empire leans extremely heavily on Saudi Arabia for their shenanigans. Shenanigans that come at a cost to Saudi Arabia. They are expected to behave as a vassal. Saudi Arabia didn't sell the House of Saud out. The prior guy did before he went senile. Things didn't deteriorate because of Khashoggi. Saudi Arabia has always beheaded and crucified regularly, and nobody cared. They indoctrinated Wahhabism into potential mercenaries for the empire and their goals, at very little gain for themselves. It actually just appears to be a loss. Khashoggi and the September 11th lawsuit threats are being used as leverage. Saudi is buckling under the burden. They don't want to go broke fighting empire terrorist wars and to save the bankers with the dollar. There are other options now. So they are threatened with being framed for September 11th, obviously they can't turn off NORAD, and Khashoggi's CNN event was also a shot across the bow. The Saudis are trapped. They have all US military equipment and have to have US hands to operate their air force, and who knows what else. Plus, they have too many skeletons that the US can hurt them with. After all the petrodollar recycling is a win-win for all involved, oil-rich states enjoy a safe place to store their petro profits, and the United States gains a key source of financing for its deficit spending. Any move away from dollar pricing of oil, therefore, threatens the ability of the United States to go on financing its growth through the sale of US Treasury bonds. The dollar will not cede its dominance in oil markets anytime soon, especially as US crude oil output reaches all-time highs. Even a Saudi decision to also conduct oil trade in Yuan would not be enough to unseat the petrodollar. The empire of paper currency and oil supported by bankers and their wars is coming to an end. Fracking is a desperate attempt at keeping internal oil production going. It's akin to burning the roof shingles of your house to keep warm. The costs to get the oil to outweigh the usefulness of the endeavor, the only ones benefiting are the bankers loaning the money to the frackers. Rome did the same it self-destructed and rot self-destructed meanwhile, the cost of empire drained resources, and the vassals began to act in their own self-interests. The bankers remained the host drained, and they began to leech the new fledgling empires. Rome devalued its own gold coins by mixing tin in with it. The soldiers felt cheated. Meanwhile, Rome allowed mass migration to Rome and southern Italy, prompting real Romans to move to Gaul, northern Italy was Cisalpine Gaul. Rome is burning, and that's just what it deserves. Decades of endless wars and its clipping of the currency, will end with collapse. Many of its citizens can't raise $400 for an emergency, but they can have their Netflix and Prime subscriptions to pay for. Hey, War Inc. is reaching its end. Don't we see a decline in Saudi production? Don't we see an increase in Saudi consumption? 
graph those two trends out, and at some point, you reach zero exports. Shale oil is America's Indian summer. Enjoy it while you can. As I understand it, the Saudis have been telling the Americans for years about the true estimate of their oil reserves. Recent estimates claim the Saudis' best field is pumping a ratio of 90% water to crude. It's more like Uncle Sam seeking a new bitch to pedal their guns rather than the Saudis doing a runner from the Petro. The Saudis are having to adapt. They are hitching a ride on Russia's and China's Silk Road. The Saudis will end up pumping Iranian crude through their refineries, at a price. Iran will become a big cog in the mechanism of the Silk Road, Iran will be shipping freight through new container ports up into Europe, cutting out the Suez Canal and reducing delivery times by two weeks. The US will have to get used to Iran not being up for grabs due to Russia, China's heavy investment program in Iran. The Americans have been printing paper and buying resources with it. We simply lack the ability to extrapolate, because if we did, the current lifestyle of the USA, without dollar world reserve status and the petrodollar perk, is utterly horrendous. Never will the axiom, I never knew how good I had it until it was gone, be more apt when the USA faces her date with reality. $29 trillion in debt, world reserve currency, petrodollar, Wall Street a cesspit of financial fraud, no adverse market reaction to continuous money printing, and has the audacity to complain about trade deficits and OPEC. What happens when you are forcibly glued to worthless printed fiat currency for 50 years that has effectively lost all of its purchasing power? And the hammer to your nail that owns you is watching you actively shop for other currencies that have purchasing power before you lose your shirt. The moral of this story. Make sure you make wiser choices with who your friends are and spread the provisions more equitably. Otherwise, your nail will get buried. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Leave me a comment. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels, I do upload videos there too. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you wholeheartedly to all those of you who have already donated. Stay safe and healthy friends.